Welcome back, survivors. Disturb Z here. And we are back in Mist Survival. Alright, guys. So, anyway, we've been working on the wall. And as you can see, we got it all the way around the back of the, the farmhouse. Almost over there. We can see from one edge to the other. So, we know where we got to connect. So, we are getting close to doing it. Uh... A lot of trees. A lot of trees, a lot of axes, a lot of stuff. So anyway, today we're not going to do any of that. Today I want to... I want to mess with trying to get some bows and stuff going. So, let's see, where is it? Bows, right here. So we need sticks, lashing, and animal guts. I think we can do that. I, I honestly think we could probably do that. So, actually, I didn't even need to pick those up. Throw those down. Let's see. You know what? Let's just turn this whole pile into sticks because we're going to need arrows anyway. So, let's just do it. Okay. Now, it said we needed dried animal guts, which... Oh, give me the... Well... We probably need to eat anyway, but those are dry. And I think I have some more in here somewhere. Yeah, like right there. Okay. So we got animal guts. What else did we need? Um, lashing. We need four lashing. Oh no, what are we ever going to do? We need so much lashing. Pretty sure we can just make up all the lashing we need. That will give us exactly four. Awesome. And we'll put the extra back in. Alright. So we are going to make ourselves one long bow. Now I want to try the bow out because we still got that one bandit camp that we found. That... I don't think running in with guns a-blazing is all that good of an idea. In fact, I think that's probably a bad idea. Okay, quiver. So we need 8 leather, 10 components, 2 duct tape, and 4 sewing kits. Now this might be the one that ends up being hard to do. Well, maybe not. We got duct tape. I was actually concerned we weren't going to have duct tape. Uh, okay, so we needed duct tape, sewing kits. Oh, are we really one component short? Can we make components? Uh, no. And that's not good. That is not good. Okay, so... I'm going to have to find some. Actually, I think... Yeah, it's still early. We can just come down here. We'll drink. Our axe is at 69%. That might be just enough to do what we need to do. Okay, so... I finally figured it out. I don't know if I ever showed it on a video or not. But I finally figured out the whole car thing. Well, I say I figured it out. I was told by all of you wonderful viewers where I was messing up. It's not necessarily these cars. Because those are searchable cars. But it's these cars that are the issue. Now, no, there's not one in the road anywhere. Okay. So, we can sit here and chop this up with an axe. I know. That's the oddest thing ever, but, you know, you can do it. And it'll explode and bust out into a ton of scrap and components. See? Oh, and scrap boards, too. I didn't realize it made boards. 
But as you can see, now we have plenty of components. See, it doesn't give us a super ton, but it does give you some. It gives enough to warrant going and breaking a car or two when you need it. Personally, I'd still rather not, just because it does wear down your axe and all that stuff. So, I'd rather just find the stuff, but when you're in a pinch, it'll work. And I have a feeling that once we get through with all this stuff, we'll probably end up being all right. Let's see, I need that. Because, yeah, once we're done building the wall, I mean, we'll be all right because we'll have, you know, a ton of axes again once we start scavenging. All right, tactical quiver coming up. Two hours. Go ahead and craft it. And I know I can assign the AI to it, and then I can go do other things, but, you know, eh, it'll be okay. Alright, so, we have equipment. Where do, quiver, right here. Haha. -ha. A tactical quiver with three storage slots available. Okay, now how do we access it? That's what I don't understand. I guess we just need to make some arrows first. Um, so we need arrowheads. Okay, let me go make some arrowheads. I know I have some hunting arrows, but I want to make sure we have a lot. Arrowheads right here. Sixteen ought to be a good number. Once again, I probably could have done one and had the AI do the other and had all kinds of stuff going, but and then it's running back and forth and yeah, that's too much of a headache. Too much of a headache. All right, so now we got our arrowheads. Yes, where are they at? Right there. Is it? Wow, it already... Well, because we've been building stuff all day. That's why. Okay. Arrows. Um, where are the arrows? Over here. I need feathers. I need a couple more sticks. Pick that up. We needed, like, what? Three more? Four more? We'll make four. Just in case, because I can't remember how many we actually needed. And then I needed feathers. We have 16 feathers. Ammo, hunting arrows. Craft them all up. Five. Oh, it takes that many feathers per arrow. Ew. Well, that's a little disappointing. Actually, that's more than a little disappointing. That's a lot. Of, that's a lot disappointing. Um, I'm about to go murder my chickens just to get feathers. I think. Wow, that is not very many that we can make. Oh, just one. Just one. Okay, let's go sleep, and we'll see where we're at in... Well, no, we got... Uh, always with the food. I'll tell you what, I think eating this salted meat, dried meat, whatever it is, I think it actually makes us uh, get hungry faster. I don't know if that's actually a thing or not, but that's just what it seems. I mean, I could be mistaken, but I don't know. Give me eight hours. Yay.
Go ahead and fill up on that. Give me that last meat. So yeah, we are most definitely going to have to go do some raiding or some killing because that is our food supply right there. That is all we have left. Uh, what was I doing? Oh yeah, I was going to put stuff away. Duh. I need components. There's my scrap. Here goes my nails. Um, for right now, I'm going to put these sticks in here along with the feathers and these arrowheads. And then I'm going to take all this. Put those away. those in there so these scrap boards in here yep so those boards in here <laughs> why do I have firewood on me I don't remember picking up firewood Okay, so we have these arrows. Now, how do we... Um, do I just... No. So, how does the quiver work? Ah, add arrows. Ha-ha, there we go. So, can I do that from in here? Yes, I can. All right. So we got arrows. Now we need that target dummy thing. Four cloth, two logs, four wood. Put that off. Let's see. Do we have enough wood? Four wood. Now I just need two logs. Alright, we got this. And there's two logs. Alright, so I want to put it... Oh, I don't know. In the front, I guess? Yeah, we'll put it like right here. Okay, so... Do that. Do this. Do this. Rotate. Awesome. Oh, yeah. R to switch quiver slot. Oh. Headshot? Oh. That was not a headshot. At least we can retrieve them. Okay, so it goes up and to the left. Yeah, that's not bad. Does this thing take damage? No, it, okay, it goes away. Good. Okay, let's see what we did. Yeah, he would not be having a good day. I'd like to get a headshot, but I don't know. Aim for his arm. Hmm. 
Okay. So, I don't know how comfortable I am with the bow system having to add arrows to the quivers like that because part of me says they should auto fill that quiver. I don't know. That's pretty cool, though. That is pretty cool, guys. So. I wonder how damaging is the bow? I mean, does it actually say? Okay, so it can kill with one hit. I wonder if they mean zombie. Oh, there's the bear. You know, we might try it on the bear. Where'd he go? I'm blind. I don't see the bear. I'll see him about the time it's too late. Um... Here, bear. ugly bear did we miss no we didn't miss haha uh -huh. -ha. I killed the bear air well, you know, we were wanting to get some more meat and stuff anyway, so this is good. Let's go ahead and butcher him up. Okay. Still looking good. Let's go ahead and get all of this fat off of him. We're going to need that for fuel, I think. I'm not sure if the generators run off of gas or that biofuel stuff. So... I don't know. And I really don't think we need any more guts or hide. I would get it if... If I knew we weren't going to... Uh, have to completely restart the game so that's unfortunately that's my downfall right now is that I know the game's gonna have to restart at some point and I'm looking forward to it but at the same time I'm not because like I want the update I want all the goodies with the update but at the same time I'm like I really gotta gotta sit here and mess with all this I mean you know I gotta rebuild so many trees that's all I'm thinking right now so many trees well like I said I do want to do several other things before getting there so eh, it's one of those things one of those things okay so we're gonna take all of our salt i think we're gonna cook some of it and ignite it didn't ignite why did you not ignite Okay, try the skin. 
Give me one of those. Give me one of these. Okay, so is it not igniting because it's in the house? What do I... Hold on. Let me try something here. Biofuel. What can I use to give it a 100%? Because if we need to move it outside, that's fine. I don't mind doing that. Starter. Tender. One... Wow, 160%. Can we... No, we can't split that, can we? Is that really going to use it all? Oh, it only used a little bit. Awesome. Okay, so I'm going to just leave that there. I am going to... Turn the rest of this... Into dried meat. You know, I should have remembered that. Oh, it's the pot that does it. Yeah, the pot. Throw all that up there. Let it render down some. You know, even though it's like the mist event. I don't really feel all that worried about going outside right now to do things. I mean, I know the wall's not complete, but we'll see. We shall see. I'm going to mess around up here. Got us this nice full rack over here. And that gives us three pieces that are still raw. Let me take some of the dry. So I think the dry will stay better in our inventory. I think. Could be wrong, but I think. Let's put that there. Oh, and I got a piece on the floor I forgot about. Actually, that's going pretty fast. Um, wow, am I going to need a third rack? Lashing and sticks. I got sticks. And I can make lashing. Yeah, we'll just do another one. Because I'm not going to have wasted food right now. Because that's just not cool, man. It's just not cool. So, I'm just going to put it like right over here. There we go. Yay! Now we got three meat racks, or drying racks, whatever you want to call them. Okay. Equipment. Oh, I know. I know what happened. Yeah. That actually kind of scared me. There's a zombie right there. Oh, that was sweet. He didn't drop anything, though. Um, excuse me. There's a couple of zombos. Run! No, we're dead. We are so dead. Steve! Oh, ho, 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 ho. 
What did we lose? An arrow, a bandage. Really? No, I don't want to continue. Life is just so horrible. Well, let's go see. Now, I might have to go back and check the video, but... Actually, we died like what? There's a hunting arrow. So that would have mean we died like right here. <gasps> My bandage. My tree bark. My other arrow. My leaf. My nine mil. Yay. Yeah, that's not bad. Okay. So, unfortunately, I don't think aggro and a bunch of zombies during a mist event works with the bow and arrow. At least not from where I was. I mean, someone might. It just seemed like the the draw time and eh, I'm going to make up a bunch of excuses because, you know, I'm too good to get wrecked like that. No, they got us. They got us. Straight up wrecked my face. So I'm a little disappointed that the one I killed, though, didn't drop anything. So I don't know if that's a thing that happens with the bow and arrow or what it is, but... I am considering going after the, uh... The other bandit camp because if I can get a hit on them and not miss like if I could sneak up and hit them with that you know then I'm good because I don't I don't know if you have to have a headshot or not if you don't then we might be okay we just might be okay and we're thirsty now get out of there. <sighs> Alright guys, well, we got a severely wounded arm, and we got a wounded leg, which means I'm going to have to play a little bit, and let time pass, and let all those work off, and I don't think I'm going to bandage, even though it's going to take forever... I don't think I'm going to bandage just for the simple fact that we don't have that many bandages left. And I did make some more alcohol, but our bandages are so rare and we have so little. I mean, that's, yeah, we can make three bandages right now. And that's about it. We have the one other bottle of alcohol sitting right there and that's it. So... Yeah, not doing it. Not going to do it. Not going to mess with it. Not worth it. So, like I said, I'll sit it out. I'll wait it out. It'll be okay. I'm going to make the bandages right now before I forget, though. Oh, I so wish that you could get more than just three bandages out of that amount. That's just... Uh, that's all I got to say. That's all I got to say on that subject, guys frustrating yeah who knows maybe the update will change it or maybe it'll add something to it you know either make it to where we can add more bandages or maybe like maybe we can use leaves and like some berries or something and make like a crude bandage that you know does the same job but doesn't like heal or anything maybe you know well you know what i'm saying like with the health heal like, it helps speed it up, or maybe it speeds it up, but not as much. Yeah, see, that would be a good addition. But anyway, guys, I think that's going to do it for today's video. I do hope everybody has enjoyed it. If you have, guys, be sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. It's an awesome, awesome, awesome way for you to show your support to me, to the channel, to the video. And to the game itself, guys. And as always, feel free to share the video on any social media you're using. And guys, just like to stop, take a moment to thank each and every one of y'all 
for all of your wonderful, awesome support, all the comments, all the likes, all the subscribers, and all the videos shared, guys. It is awesome. I do appreciate it. And with that being said, until next time, survivors, keep on surviving.